How to live in a micro apartment? Maybe you're a Gen Z. Maybe you're broke and you're gonna live in a small apartment. Maybe you just like an apartment which, as they say, is cozy. And maybe you're living in a big overcrowded city. Well, come on in. I'd like to show you my apartment. All right. Welcome. It's about 20 square meters in Neukölln, which is a neighborhood of Berlin. Let me give you the quick tour. It's quite small. I'm shooting this on a 14 millimeter lens, so you can imagine that in reality it feels a bit smaller, but it doesn't bother me. This is the balcony. And that's what it looks like. This is a queen size bed on my desk with my office chair. And we move into uh, the kitchen. It's pretty simple. There is a two stove plates set up, the sink, there is a microwave, there is no oven. Fridge is down here. For one person it's plenty, it's just fine. And then we have the bathroom, toilet. Toilet paper, me, and a shower. Obviously, there's no bathtub here, so that's no surprise. As you can see, my stuff is a little everywhere. So as you can see, my stuff is everywhere. And that's because it's fairly small, but you end up just, um, even if you don't have a lot of stuff, it's gonna go somewhere, so. There's my dirty laundry, paper recycling, some books, vacuum cleaner. This door is quite handy because you can hang all your stuff. Down here is where I keep my clothes as well as the glass that needs to go to the recycling. This is where I keep my camera stuff. I guess I could build more shelves, but I feel like doing that would just mean that I would end up having more stuff. This is quite empty here. I could put more stuff in here. Well, camera stuff, bit of food stuff, and just some food stuff. And here's paperwork stuff. More, I guess this is like camera stuff. So that's pretty much it. This down here is where I can meditate and relax. And now a quick kettlebell swing tutorial. Set the kettlebell down with the handle facing you. Take one step back and place your feet parallel, just wider than your shoulder width. Hinge at the hip and bend your knees slightly, leaning your torso forward while keeping your back straight. Grab the kettlebell with both hands while pushing your shoulders back and down creating a slight tension in your upper back. To initiate the swinging movement, pull the kettlebell off the floor towards you and let it swing behind you between your legs. As the bell starts to swing forward again, straighten your body in a swift motion by extending your hips and straightening your legs. The kettlebell should swing forward and up until your arms are almost horizontal. Do not bend your arms or push the bell. Your arms should be like ropes. Let the kettlebell fall down and as it does, hinge your hips and bend your legs slightly. Let it swing between your legs with your wrist touching the midpoint of your inner thighs. Rinse and repeat as many times as you'd like. At all times, keep your spine straight, your shoulders are pulled back and down. Your arms remain straight. The motion of the bell is akin to a pendulum. To finish, Put the bell down in a smooth motion in front of you. That's it. Enjoy. The living here has actually been quite good. 
there is floor heating. It's fairly quiet as the apartment faces north. There's not much sun. It also doesn't get very hot in the summer, so that is pretty good. I'm gonna have some eggs now for breakfast and olives and some cheese, probably another cup of coffee, water filter. And down here, we also have the cleaning supplies and the trash. That's the recycling stuff, the regular trash. And that's about it. It's all pretty small and compact. Thanks for coming.